Hi, I'm Mitch Goldberg. I'm a financial advisor. I want to explain to you the difference between exchange traded funds, also known as ETFs, and mutual funds, and answer the age old question is one better than the other? Exchange traded funds, again, ETFs and mutual funds, have a lot of similarities. In fact, I think they're more similar than they are different. I'll tell you the differences, though. Uh, and really explain to you why I do have a preference of one over the other. Well, they're both a very good way to uh, put together a package of either broadly diversified securities like large cap stocks or a niche group of securities like let's say just tech stocks. And it gives you a way with one investment in which to invest in that particular group of stocks. They can also be put together for various kinds of bonds, commodities, uh, different countries, etc. There's a, a, an ETF for about 100 different countries today, including Germany, Nigeria, um, Israel, Indonesia, pretty much almost any country that actually has a stock market now has an exchange traded fund that tracks it. So there are also mutual funds that do a lot of the same exact things. Um, you know, if you're uh, generally speaking, if you're just looking for that pie chart, asset allocation investing, you can do it with either mutual funds or exchange traded funds. And you want to know something? I don't think long term you're going to be better or worse with either one. I just think it's a more a matter, matter of which you have um, access to at the particular moment. For example, in a 401k plan, most 401ks use open-ended mutual funds. And if that's what your options are, well, you're stuck with them, but you, you want to know something? You'll typically have your exposure or your, your options of large cap, small cap, mid cap, international, fixed income, cash. So generally speaking, mutual funds or ETFs can do the job for you if you're creating a long-term asset allocation pie chart type of investment plan. Some of the differences, though, are this. Um, in taxable accounts, I just want to say that I am not a, an accountant. If you have any questions about taxes, you really need to speak with your tax advisor. But exchange-traded funds, in my opinion, are better for taxable accounts because, let's say, for example, a mutual fund manager buys a stock at 100, the stock goes to 200 in, in the last five years, okay? And you buy that mutual fund yesterday and that mutual fund manager sells that stock today, you are just as responsible for the capital gains taxes of that stock sale as if as, as a person who bought that fund five years ago. Now you might say, hey, that's not fair. Why should I get stuck with such a high tax penalty for that? But that's what puts the mutual into mutual funds. An exchange traded fund wouldn't have that issue. In other words, whatever you pay for the exchange, whatever price you pay for the ETF, and whatever price you sell, you subtract the difference. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, hopefully it's more, but it could either be a short-term loss, long-term loss, long-term gain, short-term gain, however it works out for your particular situation. But it does make the tax situation a little bit easier. And in uh, 2018, there were uh, a lot of taxable distributions from mutual funds, um, which I think a lot of people were very surprised to, uh, to find. That would not have happened with exchange-traded funds. Another thing about ETFs that I really like is that you have the ability to use limit orders, stop loss orders, uh, below the market buy limit orders. It gives you a little bit more flexibility in how you in how you want to plan your investment strategy. Now, mutual funds can only be bought and sold at the four o'clock price. So, however, the market closes, that is you know whatever the closing prices is uh are of all of the securities in the mutual fund that's how the mutual fund is valued and that's the price you buy it at or sell it at now you can enter your uh buy or sell order anytime you want for mutual fund you can enter it at two in the morning or one o'clock in the afternoon but you're only getting the four o'clock price as opposed to an exchange traded fund which trades all day long like an individual stock um, if you're getting the feeling that I like ETFs more, you would be right just because I like the flexibility that I do get from ETFs, again, with the limit orders and the ability to maybe sell partial amounts and buy them back, again, using limit orders. And it gives my investment strategies a little bit more flexibility. But generally speaking, I like them both for the long term. Again, the preference really is up to you. These are just tools. For example, if you have a Phillips head screwdriver, okay, if you don't know, that's the crisscross uh, screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver, which one is better? Well, it depends on the kind of screw you have. 
So that's how I look at it. They're both just tools to help you achieve long-term goals, financial goals that you're looking to accomplish, such as retirement, sending your kids to school, things of that nature. If you have any more questions, you can certainly reach me at mgoldberg at clientfirststrategy.com. For more information, check out clientfirststrategy.com. In this YouTube channel, if you like it, by the way, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're going to talk about investing. We're going to talk about entrepreneurship. We're going to talk about personal finance. We're going to talk about a lot of things. Marketing, how, how, how to go about marketing your business, how to build a portfolio of securities. Lots of things that have to do with business in general, but more specifically with investing. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.